if you would please go ahead and raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to this jury that you will tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. Thank you, Ms. Sawyer. Please feel free to have a seat. Ms. Sawyer, since we're being recorded here today, um, and there's a microphone right in front of you, so um, I will ask you to please keep your voice up to make sure uh, that the recording picks you up. Would you please state your full name and spell both your first and your last name? Uh, my name is Crystal Renee Sori, uh, C-R-Y-S-T-A-L-S-O-R-E-Y. And Ms. Sori, what town do you live in? I live in Fitchburg, Massachusetts. How long do you, have you lived there? A year and five months. And how far did you go in school? Um, I didn't graduate high school. Okay. Um, I'd like to ask you about a specific day, June 7th, 2014. What significance, if any, does that day have for you? <laughs> it was the day my, my daughter Harmony was born. Okay. And Harmony was a girl, correct? Yes. Have you had any other daughters besides Harmony? No. And what was her full name? Harmony Renee Montgomery. Same middle name as you? Yes. Okay. What was her medical condition when she was born? Um, she was blind in her right eye. She was misdiagnosed twice before that. Um, yeah, just blind in her right eye. And after, uh, about three months after she was born, who did she go to live with? Michelle Rafferty. Okay. And do you know Michelle? Very well. Why did she go to live with Michelle? Um, I am a recovering drug addict. I was struggling at the time, um, handling her diagnosis. I was struggling. Okay. And is it fair to say that who you are now in 2024 is different than who you were in 2014? Very. Um, in March of 2016, were you able to obtain custody of Harmony again? Yes. Okay. Where did the two of you live? Um, first, when she reunified, I was at um, Casa Esperanza in Roxbury. Um, it was a reunification program, but you could only stay, you could only progress so much there. So then we moved um, to Ruth Kelly Umi's house um, on the other side of Roxbury, Dorchester. Okay. When the two of you were living together, how was Harmony? <laughs> um, amazing, <laughs> rambunctious, you know, very smart. By the time she was two, um, you know, she could tell you her whole life story. <laughs> she was talkative? Yes. People didn't believe she was two. Um, when you got custody and were reunified with Harmony in those two places, um, did you work and finish potty training with Harmony? Yes, okay. I did. And how did she take to that? She did very well, honestly. Um, I was kind of surprised. She was just really um, excited to be a big sister, you know. Um, you know, her brother had diapers, and I told her, you know, um, you know, babies wear diapers, you know, and you're, you're not a baby anymore, you know, you're a big sissy. So um, she was right on it, and um, <coughs> she did so well. In September and then October, I know you, you were reunified in March of 2016. In September and October of 2018, uh, did she go to get, live again with Michelle Rafter? Yes. And when she left then, that would be the fall of 2018, how old was she? Fall of 2018, um, three, I believe three, almost four. Uh, it, yeah, basis? It's leading in with, I think the dates are wrong. Your Honor, I, I believe the question was how old was she? in the fall of 2018. The objections overruled. Thank you. So she was born in 2014, is that correct? She was four, yes. Okay, so she was four in 
18. Yes. And was she fully potty trained when she left you? Yes. I'm going to ask you, who was Harmony's birth father? Adam Montgomery. And uh, how did you meet him? Through a mutual friend. Was he living with you when Harmony was born? No. Was, um, were the two of you living together when Harmony went to live with the Rafferty's? Never. Um, did you ever have any other children with Adam Montgomery? No. At some point in 2019, who got custody of Harmony? Adam. Where, where was Adam living at the time? Manchester, New Hampshire. Do you remember what street he was living on? Guilford Street. And is that where Harmony was as well? Yes. What, if any, visits did you have with Harmony after she went to live with Adam Montgomery? I had two physical visits with her. Um, and then I had two FaceTime calls, um, both very brief. The physical visits, where did you visit her? <clears throat> Excuse me. Guilford Street. D uh, did you visit with her outside the home or inside the home? Or inside the home. Inside the home. Um, did you see where her room was? No. Okay. He never showed me. When you say he, who is he? Adam never showed me. I was only allowed in the living room or the bathroom. How did you communicate with Adam at that time? Um, Facebook. Facebook? Yeah, he um, wouldn't give me his number. When did you last see Harmony? <laughs> April. April 2019. of April 2019. April of 2019? Yeah, right before Easter. How did you see her? Oh, um, I was doing a Facebook video call. That was how um, I had job training. So I couldn't do a physical visit that week because I didn't know my schedule. You said that was before Easter, is that correct? Yes. Did you see her on Easter? Yes. Okay. Were you able to see her after that? No. What did you try to do to be able to see her or talk to her after that? I just kept reaching out to Adam and Kayla and, you know, asking, begging them to let me see her. And I was sorry for whatever I did. I wasn't even sure what I did, um, but I was just trying to reach out to really anybody at that point, his family, you know, his grandmother, his, his uncle, his dad, anybody. Okay. Let me ask, um, did you try to reach out through the month of May and May, months of May and June? May, yes. What about in July? I believe so. Okay. Um, did you receive any phone call from Kevin Montgomery, Adam's uncle, in July? Yes. I'm not going to go into the detail of what was said, but after that call, did you continue these efforts you talked about before trying to get in touch with Adam? Yes. And what about September of 2019? Were you trying to get in touch with Adam then? Yes. What about October and November of 2019? Were you trying to get in touch with Adam then? Yes. Christmas of 2019? Yes. Were you in touch with him then? Yes. Were any of those successful? No. Did you see or hear from Harmony at all during that time period? No. What about in the year 2020? Did you continue to try to find and get in touch with Harmony or Adam? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? No problem. What about the following year, in the year 2020? Did you try to get a hold of Adam at Harmony? Yes, I had made a new Facebook hoping because he had blocked me and so did Kayla. I was hoping to get through to him that way. Did you try also through 2021? Yes. 
by December of 2021, what else were you doing to try to find harmony? I and was how to respond. I was, you know, calling DCF. I was, um, you know, telling my therapist, talking to anybody that I knew was either a mandated reporter or had some type of leverage because I wasn't getting anywhere. I had wrote also to the mayor. And in December of 2021, did you have any meetings with the Manchester Police Department? I'm sorry. Yep. In December of 2021, did you meet with the Manchester Police Department about <laughs> trying to find harmony? Yes. And with regards to that, did you provide them with any permissions to try to get more information to help find harmony? I signed whatever they needed me to sign. Did any of that include medical authorizations for medical records? Yes. Um, did you provide a DNA swab for them? Twice. Did you provide permission for them to look at your Facebook account? Yes. Did you provide permission for them to find out where you had been living and contact those places to confirm your dates there? Yes. Show you what's been marked Stakes Exhibit 101. For identification? Your Honor, I believe we made this a full oh, exhibit. Oh, that, I'm sorry, that's a full exhibit. Thank you. Do you recognize this person? Yes. <sighs> Adam Montgomery. This is the person that you were trying to get a hold of? Yes. That's my girl. That's Harmony. In the fall of 2018, when she went back to the Raptors, do you know that she was going to school? When she was with Michelle, she was, but not after. Not after? No. Could you explain what you mean by that? Once you went, when she, when with Adam, she never went to school. I'm sorry, Your Honor, if we could applaud. <clears throat> Ms. Sori, I just have one last question for you. With regards to all of those communications that you talked about through 2019, 2020, 2021, trying to get a hold of Adam Montgomery at Harmony, um, for any of those, were you ever able to speak with Harmony? No. I can have just a moment.
just to qualify, clarify, I'm sorry, the last time that you saw her, I believe your testimony before was April of 2019? So, yes. So it was not around Thanksgiving time of 2019? No. Okay. Thank you. I have no further questions for you, Ms. Sorry. I believe defense counsel will have a few. If you just use the podium if you want. it out after this I'll pull it out after this because I again I only have a couple of questions and it sounds like Harmony was a lovely child and a joy is that right yes and um, you described on direct uh, her uh, getting potty trained and you comparing her to her brother yeah your son yes and uh, I think she loved being uh, a big sister to her brother, your son. Yes. Right? And um, you described how old Harmony was in September of 2018, I think. Harmony was not living with you at that time. Is that right? That's right. Okay. Thank you. Nothing further, Your Honor. You may sit down. Just be very careful of the wires. Okay. 